My name is Emily Kelly. I'm from Plenty Campus, class of 2001. I'm currently running my own business called Death Proof PR. Uh, we do music PR for a bunch of Australian and international artists. Making contacts around the music industry with my writing, eventually got nominated for a job in PR at this record label. Scored that and yeah, dream job. After six years, I kind of saw that there was a maybe time to move on, and I just spotted a you know a gap in the existing music industry for a service that I was providing at the label. I spoke to a colleague at the record label about whether she would want to do that with me. No mortgage, no kids. There wasn't anything to lose, so we just thought we'd have a crack at it. It's been working now for almost five years. We have two employees who are awesome. We've got an intern. I have a dog that comes to the office. I have an office on Brunswick Street. <laughs> I kind of took a definite leaning towards the arts at some point when I was at school. Dropped all the maths, dropped all the science, went straight for the, the creative stuff. I'm not sure how well that was received, but the fact that they eventually let me do that led to doing media at uni and then led to working in, in music for my career. A principal at the time, maybe vice principal, Simon Laplastria, and I really liked him. I really liked the way he taught and the ideas that he had. And he left the school maybe when I was you know, in year nine or ten, and I think I wrote him a letter as you do, and I just said, oh, you know, I thought you were a great teacher, I'll miss you. Um, and I remember he wrote me a card back, it was something along the lines of, um, I noticed that you think outside the box and it can get lonely sometimes, but you find good friends or good people along the way. <laughs> teacher, perhaps when I was 15 or 16, identified that in me when I clearly didn't even see it in myself. I just thought he was being a bit cheeky, saying I had no mates and it was actually, you know, spotted a tendency for me to push back and kind of, in a way, you know, encouraged me to continue to do it in a very subtle way. <laughs> what could I say to 17 year old me? Oh my god, the things. Stop listening to Limp Bizkit. <laughs> no good can come of that.